welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've done an actual video and not just a vlog, so why not start off the month of February with a video? Um, today we're going to do my favorite place, Thrive Market, and this box is super heavy. Um, but Thrive Market is my favorite online grocery type store. Um, they have all sorts of organic, keto friendly, paleo friendly, the best of the best, and they're all at really good prices. So you're not gonna be spending an arm and a leg to get good quality food. Um, the main thing I like to buy here is like my dressings, my snacks, things like that. So plenty of that in here, my baking needs, all of that stuff. So I thought I would bring you along and show you what I bought in this haul. Um, Thrive Market, you do pay a fee. You can either pay a monthly fee or you can pay a yearly fee. It is $60 for the year, which is what I pay. And then every time you buy, it shows you the savings you've made compared to like regular store prices. And I have saved way more money um, than just $60. So it's really worth it. It's, it's a great business. Plus, for every time you buy a membership, it does donate a membership to a family in need. And I think that's great as well, so that they can have access to great food also. So, let's get into it. The packaging is always 100% um, recyclable and shipped with carbon neutral footprint, which I really like. This box is really heavy, guys. I don't remember what I bought. So... I think a lot of it is like snacky foods, but I was in a snacky mood. Let's see, except for this. All right, so this is collagen peptides. I love putting collagen in my coffee in the morning. Um, the nice thing about this one is it's good ingredients. Um, it also has 10 grams of protein. So even though coffee is like technically my first meal, like I already have 10 grams of protein just in my coffee. So I love it, you can't taste it. It, it you know, um, dissolves really quickly. This is grass-fed um, cows, so I think this is great. Um, I always stock up on this. It's a great deal at Thrive Market. Plus look at how like nicely this is all packed. It's so good because it doesn't break. Okay, so this is another cooking item. So this one's avocado oil by Primal Kitchen. I cook with avocado most oil most of the time. It's a good healthy fat, plus it has a high, um, high heat resistance. So like olive oil, if at a certain heat, it can turn into a chemical. I love it. I, it has no taste. It's a very neutral taste, so it's just a good way to cut out um, some of the bad stuff. You know, we should not be cooking in canola oil, vegetable oil. You should definitely stick more to like your healthy fat oils like avocado, extra virgin olive oil, and um, coconut oil. So that's just an FYI for you. Next we have some of my favorite cashew butter. If you haven't had cashew butter, you don't know what you're missing out on. Seriously, it's so tasty. This one is perfect. That was my cat, he just sneezed. <laughs> Um, anyway, this one is perfect. It's just raw organic cork, the raw organic cashews. And, um, this brand is super good. Um, what I do with this is I put it into, look at him. He's so cute. He keeps sneezing. Uh, what I do with this is I make cookie dough balls. They're a healthy version of a cookie dough ball. I have a YouTube video about these. I can um, post it down below for you to watch it. Um, but it's just a great recipe, so I always use cashew butter in those, plus it tastes delicious. Next we have mayo. This one is by Primal Kitchen. It's made with avocado oil. The ingredients are literally eggs, egg yolks, vinegar, sea salt, rosemary, and avocado oil. You cannot get much cleaner than that for a mayonnaise. Like if you look at um, some of the, ba the regular brands, their ingredients are disgusting. So um, this uses avocado oil. Most of those use either vegetable, canola, sunflower, palm, like all the bad oils. Um, this one's a good one. I think it tastes good. Um, I use this in my like tuna salads and um, egg salads, things like that. So love this. 
Next, I got my favorite oat milk that I use to make lattes in my Keurig. Um, I love the Khalifa Farms one. Um, let's see. It does have sunflower oil, but I have not found an oat milk that really doesn't use a bad oil. But I love this one simply because it froths really well. So when I steam my milk and froth it, it actually is like Starbucks latte. So I will take this over any of the crap from Starbucks to be completely honest with you. Um, but yeah, I love this stuff. It's shelf stable until you open it. So it's great. I can just keep it until I'm ready to use it. This I have not tried before. Um, this is the free Let's see, free to eat, super bee food rotini. It's gluten free, it's green lentil, kale, broccoli, and spinach pasta. I'm always loving alternates for pasta because we don't really eat like regular white enriched flour pasta. That stuff's not good for you. Um, it is definitely a simple carbohydrate, whereas this is actually giving you protein. Um, so this, the ingredients literally are green lentil, kale, broccoli, and spinach. You can't get much cleaner than that. Um, you know, carb-wise, obviously there's carbs, but there's fiber in here. There's 15 grams of protein for um, two ounces. You know what? One, one thing, I hate when people put them in ounces. Like, give me a cup, fourth of a cup, third of a cup. <laughs> like, don't give me it two in ounces. No one checks that. But anyway, so I'm going to try this out. I'll have to let you guys know if I like it. I tend to like a lot of healthy foods. I have that kind of taste palette, I guess. Taste palette? I don't even know if that's a word. Anyway, I got this. The Lan... Lan... Lacanto? 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 I'm not sure. Um, blueberry muffin mix. Now this, um... This company makes monk fruit sweetener, like the best one that I've had, and that is a healthier option to, um, you know, cane sugar in general. So I thought this looked good. I have had the um, uh, brownie mix that they make, the keto brownie mix, and it's excellent. And this one um, is, let's see, you know, zero grams of added sugar which is awesome you always want to look at the added sugar because total sugars would be like your fruit like your natural sugars and added sugar is when they get you because if you look at a lot of labels it's like a ton of added sugar so this one has zero so i thought i'd try it it just calls for coconut oil water and eggs so pretty easy also can make your own which i do but sometimes you just don't feel like it all right, these guilty pleasure here. So I am a Reese's peanut butter fanatic. Those are not good for you. <laughs> I do treat myself, trust me. I treat myself. <laughs> but I bought these. So this is Lily's. I love Lily's um, dark chocolate chips. They're made with stevia. These are also sweetened with stevia, 40% cocoa. Um, you know, they're obviously not like, you know, super healthy, but it's a better alternative to the Reese's peanut butter cup that I really would want to eat. Um, zero grams of added sugars, five grams of erythritol, um, eight grams of fiber, 15 grams of carbs. So not really not too bad. So I will take that. It's like I said, it's sweetened with stevia, not cane sugar. Um, yeah, really not too terrible. So these are excellent. Sometimes also with Red Market, when you buy one, it comes with two. <laughs> so hey, I got two. Next is a granola. Now I love granola, but some of, a lot, most, <laughs> let's be real, most are super high in sugar. So I try to avoid those. You can always make your own, which I've done that. I just don't always have time. And I like it in my yogurt. So. Um, I'm kind of on a Greek yogurt, blueberry, granola kick right now, and that's my like afternoon sweet snack. So, this has a lot of good protein in it. So anyway, this is the Thrive Market grain-free granola. It's van vanilla cinnamon yum. Mm, yum in the package, you know, it's good. Um, so, ingredients-wise, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, maple syrup is the sweetener, um, coconut, almonds, cashews, 
walnut, cinnamon, vanilla, sea salt. So super good ingredients, not a lot of sugar. And there is three grams of added sugar, but that's from the maple syrup, so I'm okay with that because it's a, nor it's a natural sugar. Um, this is obviously gluten-free and paleo. I love um, Purely Elizabeth. That's the brand I usually buy. But I thought I'd give this one a try. I actually haven't tried the tried the Thrive Market brand. But really good stuff here. Check out the grain-free granola. All right, these. So I bought the Simple Mills Almond Flour Crackers Rosemary at Whole Foods the other day. And they were... Excellent. I forgot I actually bought these, but I'm super excited because they're super good. But these are just the sea salt ones. Um, they have tapioca, starch, cassava flour, um, almond, sunflower, and flaxseed blend. Um, it does have sunflower oil. It is organic. Take and choose, right? Um, expeller pressed is best, but you know, organic is better than regular. So, um, onion, garlic, rosemary. So, excellent ingredients. And these are really tasty. So if you're looking for a low carb, a lower carb, healthier, gluten-free option, this is it. They're good with cheese. So pretty sure my husband and I ate the whole box on Saturday with some cheese. <laughs> All right, snacks, more snacks. I've been on a plantain chip, um, Thing. I've been trying to find one that I like. This one has good ingredients. So this is the banana organic plantain chips kettle cooked. I like to dip, dip these in guacamole. So good. Hummus, excellent. Um, but this is just plantains, coconut oil, and Himalayan pink salt. So they're going to have carbs because it's a banana. Um, but I am really excited to try these. So maybe these are gonna be my new go-to. I also bought these, but I didn't read the label very well. You can click on and read the label on Thrive Market, which I really love, but this one's made with palm oil. Not a good oil, but they are tasty because this came with two and I took, I already ate one of these. So anyway, not the best oil, but you give and you take, right? Next we have these Chomps grass-fed beef. Um, Italian style mini sticks. I've heard a lot of really good things about chomps. I have not tried them myself, um, but I wanted the mini ones because I'm not a big um, beef eater. I actually really avoid red meat if I can, um, but these are mini and tasty. So I thought I could eat this with a piece of cheese and be set for a very good snack. So it's 40 calories per stick, zero grams of sugar added, four grams of protein per little tiny stick. That is pretty good. Um, other ingredients, yeah, pretty much just seasonings after that. Um, the one thing I like about this is it's not in a pork casing. That always makes me feel gross. <laughs> I don't eat pigs, so if it's in a pork casing, I'm like, blah. But this one is not. Let's try it. It's very similar to the ones I saw at Costco, which I also have Archer Farms or something like that. Country Archer. Yeah, okay. All right, so I got some of these plant-based chili options to kind of try. Every once in a while we do try to eat a little more plant-based. Um, not super often, but I thought we'd give these a try. I got the black bean one for me and medium heat. That was my cat. Medium heat for Ryan, my husband. Um, so ingredients wise, it does have canola oil, but it's expeller pressed. It does have molasses, um, well that's a little more natural and there's zero grams of added sugar and the rest of the ingredients really aren't too bad. It does have some natural flavors in it, but we can close our eyes to that. Natural flavors are actually not regulated, so they can put whatever they want into that natural flavor. And there are some funky chemicals in some companies' natural flavors, so you should try to avoid them if you can. It's not super easy. So much stuff has natural flavor in it, if you look. It's kind of scary how many products have it, to be completely honest with you. Okay, 
Next, I love this brand, Lesser Evil. They make the best popcorn, they make the best puffs. I have not tried this one. This is Grain Free Paleo Puff, and it's no cheese cheesiness. Um, obviously, if you're paleo, you're not gonna be eating cheese, so that's why. It's made with cassava flour, which is which that's why it is um, gluten-free. I'm sorry, grain-free. Yeah, gluten-free, okay. Anyway, cassava flour, coconut oil is the oil, which is awesome. Um, tapioca starch, that's okay, as a binder. Coconut flour, um, Himalayan salt, sweet potato powder, nutritional yeast, which is how they get the cheesy flavor. If you've never tried nutritional yeast, it's pretty good. So, anyway, um, zero grams of added sugar, a gram of fiber, no protein, but I thought they'd be a nice little snack. I'll probably eat the whole bag if I'm completely honest with you. <laughs> That's usually what happens. Can anyone just like eat one, find out they're really good and put the bag away? If you can, I am really impressed with you. Comment down below if you are that one person in the world that can put the bag away. And in all honesty, say you don't want more. Next I got um, avocado oil spray. Like I said, I cook with avocado oil all the time. I've been out of this, so I'm super excited to have it. When you get these sprays, you wanna make sure that it's just the oil in there. Like this one is just avocado oil because sometimes they put a lot of fillers in there to create the spray. Um, I know I did buy one that was coconut oil um, from Walmart and it was not good. Like it had extra stuff in it. I didn't notice it when I bought it. So obviously I used it because I don't like to waste things, but make sure you're watching for that. So we got a bunch of other jars. This is why I'm so happy. I got jars. Oh, this I got um, just organic capers. I saw a recipe for this, so I've been wanting to use them in stuff and see what they taste like. To be honest, I don't know if I've had a caper, but I'm gonna try it. Ah, oh, this stuff's awesome. So next is the garlic Alfredo sauce with made with avocado oil, non-dairy. Um, it's by Primal Kitchen. You would think non-dairy Alfredo sauce would be gross. It's not, I promise. You really can't tell the difference. Um, so ingredient-wise, it's water, cashew butter, they use avocado oil, um, garlic, sea salt, onion powder, black pepper, lemon juice, nutritional yeast. Like, awesome ingredients for a sauce. Um, 60 calories for a fourth of a cup, um, no added sugar, so. This, this is excellent. You can't find, like, your basic brands are not made with good oil. Trust me. Look. Except Rayo's. Rayo's is good. If you have not tried Rayo's, you should. You should run to your grocery store, not walk to try that stuff. And I've tried all Rayo's. Alfredo, marinara's, pesto, delish. More jars. I was on a sauce kick. All right, this one is called the Green Goddess Dressing and Marinade. It's from the Thrive Market brand. Um, it's dairy-free. Let's see, it uses coconut oil, which is awesome. Apple cider vinegar, Dijon mustard, coconut aminos. Yeah, everything is really awesome in this. Um, you know, no carbs. So I wanted to try this with some chicken or on a salad. So we'll have to give it a try. Just one more. So this one is the Avocado Oil Ranch by Primal Kitchen. I haven't tried the ranch, so I thought I'd give it a try. You know, I always, you always want a little something to dip stuff in. Like getting the healthier versions is worth it. So this is avocado oil, water, organic apple cider vinegar again. Um, let's see, cream of tartar, sea salt, eggs, onion powder. Everything looks awesome. Zero grams of added sugars. Obviously these are these are higher in fat because it's avocado oil. Um, but this one says paleo, keto, whole 30. That's the other really awesome thing about Thrive Market is when you're on the website or in the app on your phone, you can search by diet type. So like I eat a lot of keto, a lot of paleo stuff. 
Um, so I always search that way and then I can find products that fit into my diet requirements. You know, they have gluten free, they have dairy free, they have vegan. It's just a really awesome app to use because you can search it so many different ways. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this big haul from Thrive Market. I hope that you check it out and give it a try. It's a great company and I really love all the products that I've ever gotten from Thrive Market. It's very rare that I get a dud and several of these are things that I buy over and over again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you keep on subscribing. I'll be having some new videos coming soon and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Say my name until the city burns and the stars fade away and your scars don't hurt. Stay with me until the last man falls. I don't need them anyway. When I'm with you, I have it all. Oh, oh, oh I'll never let you slip away.